Hello everybody, my name is Inez and welcome to this video. Happy New Year 2020. Can you believe it? We have made it. We've passed from a decade into this new beginning. 2020. Happy New Year. It is going to be explosive. It is going to be amazing so what i've put together in this video for you my brothers and sisters is a few declarations to speak over yourself and your family and your life but just to come into this 2020 now speaking life and blessings over yourself i hope you had an amazing celebration time but we are here now everything is brand new let go of the past it's all new and i just want to say for some people a lot of people actually are still coming into 2020 saying oh it was terrible oh i've been through a lot of hard things a lot of difficult times and this happened to me and that happened to me but i just want to say to you today to let it go let go of the past it's been difficult for a lot of people but we need to understand as followers of Jesus Christ that you have to go through things. It's a process. You know, there's, there's good times, happy times, difficult times, hardships, but it's for growth as well. You know, you're getting stronger. It's because God is doing amazing things in your life and it's always behind the scenes. That's why as a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, you need to understand the times and the seasons, you know. So you need to be in the presence of God, in his word, listening to what the Lord is saying. Not looking at everything that is around you, okay, because that was preparation. I even knew that myself, the difficult times that we went through, you know. And just like Paul, should be praising the Lord and thanking the Lord because... Yes, the enemy attacks, but God shifted things. It's already done. I've said this in the last couple of videos. It's already done in the background. It's just, you're here now and it's done. And this year, 2020, you're just gonna see it. Everything is done. Everything has shifted. Everything has moved. This year is going to be amazing. I could feel it in my spirit the last couple of months. Of 2019 but we're not going to talk about 2019 we're talking about now okay so let's pray so Holy Spirit I ask you to come right now and speak through me to your sons and your daughters in Jesus name amen praise the Lord so if anybody hasn't seen the the word that I gave out for 2020 what the Lord spoke to me was like I said 2020 is going to be explosive it's going to be amazing it's just going to be fulfillment of everything dreams coming true your heart's desires great things taking place things you never even thought of god is just going to bless his people okay and give them back to you everything the enemy stole or destroyed or whatever it is okay but it is so important brothers and sisters that you let go you let go of what did happen, of the people who hurt you, the people who left you, the mistakes you made. You need to forgive yourself. Has anybody made any mistakes? I know I have. You know, and you come before the Lord, you surrender, you just lay it all out and give it to God and just shake the dust off and go forward, okay? So we remember, just like, who did we have? Let me see the verse there. In Genesis 19, 26. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. We're not ones who go back. We're ones who are running, winning, running this race. Excuse me. We're going forward. Mighty warriors in the army of God. The army of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you're strong. You're fearless. You're brave. You're more than a conqueror. People have spoken stuff against you. If you have said anything over yourself, anything that was negative, you need to let it go. You need to speak life over yourself, over your situation. Forgive others. 
and don't look back. Go forward. Because you're running this race, okay? And we don't want to stay still either. We don't want to be stagnant. We don't want to be procrastinating. We don't want to be lazy. We want to be speaking the word, believing the word. There's a lot of people who say that they're following Jesus and they're looking around going, oh, look, this is happening to me. This is happening. Everything goes fine for them for a while. But when storms hit, it's like, oh, help me, help me. Please pray for me. Do this and do this. But you need to remember that you have authority. You need to remember that you have power. You need to remember who you are. Don't lose sight of that, okay, of who you are. You are a child of the Most High God. And you're strong. You're brave. You're more than a conqueror. And amazing things are going to happen this year. So do you believe this? Do you believe it? Because I believe it. I was so excited when God gave me this word a couple of weeks ago. It's just amazing. Okay, so there's new beginnings. Are you ready? Okay, so treat this like, okay, let's go. It's not like New Year's resolutions, you know, where people say, I'm going to stop this or I'm going to do this. No, this should be all the time. It's not like speaking these declarations for today and then forgetting about it then you need to repeat these not just these but just the word of god basically this is just a, a starter a refresher for the new year okay but this should be all the time so amazing things are going to take place so if you want to say these just repeat this video afterwards or whatever it is okay so, because I get a lot of emails then of people saying, can you send me an email with all these things? Well, I'm not going to do that, okay? You just need to listen to this yourself and replay the video if you need to hear it again, okay? So, number one. I'm not even going to say there's like 10 or 12. I'm just going to say the ones that when I was praying there a while ago and I just felt and I was just writing down what the Spirit of God was saying. Okay, so, I declare and I decree... In Jesus' name, 2020 is my year. 2020 for me is going to be amazing. I choose life. I choose to go forward. I choose to obey the gospel. Now listen to me. When you say these things, your words have power. So when you're saying these things, you have to believe them as well, okay? Now remember, fear is not your portion. Worry is not part of you at all, okay? So God has everything covered. You just need to believe, like I said in the background, it's done. So you have to say these things. I am highly favored by God. I declare and I decree in Jesus' name, I will not die before my time. Nobody in my family will die before their time. I will fulfill my destiny in Jesus Christ's name. So as I'm speaking this, speak it over yourself at the same time, okay? I declare and I decree my family and children are blessed. My marriage is blessed. Father, in Jesus' name, I choose to forgive my enemies. I choose to let go of any grudges. Anything that I'm holding against anyone, Father, forgive me. I release them and I let them go, in Jesus' name. And I bless my enemies. Okay? I choose, Father, in Jesus' name, to love others. I choose to walk in love, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, I choose to read your word and to believe your word every single day. In Jesus' name. I declare and I decree every plan of the enemy, every wickedness plotted against me, my ministry, my business, my family, to be destroyed by fire in Jesus Christ's name. No weapon of war formed against me will prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. This is my heritage as a servant of the Lord. My righteousness is from you, Lord of hosts. Greater is he that is in me than he that is of the world. 
in Jesus name father in the spirit realm I cancel out every slanderous gossiping critical word that anyone has spoken against me in Jesus name I plead the blood of Jesus over them right now in Jesus name I plead the blood of Jesus over myself and over my house over my family in Jesus name Father, I thank you for divine connections in 2020. Open doors, new opportunities, a new job to come my way in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you that you've already done it in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that I am patient. Father God, I thank you that I am blessed. I thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that you supply all my needs according to your riches and glory in heaven. Father God, I thank you that I don't have to worry about finances or provision in Jesus' name. Lord, you are my provider in Jesus' name. Father, I release every negative thought. I cast down every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, every imagination, every negative thing in my heart, Lord, that I have been thinking about anything or anyone, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I have the mind of Christ. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And in Philippians 4, 8, these things I will think on, Whatever things are pure, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, whatever things are of a good virtue, I will praise on these things. I will think on these things. I will see people the way you see people, Jesus. Forgive me, Lord, for being critical and judgmental towards others or myself in Jesus' name. I choose to love others, God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that this vessel belongs to you, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord, that I will speak blessings, that my hands, Lord, will do great things for you. I will do exploits for you in Jesus' name. I am yours, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Forgive me, Lord, for being disobedient in any area of my life or in the call or the destiny that you have for me. If I have messed up or been disobedient in any way, Lord, forgive me. I ask you, Lord, for the grace to help me to move forward and in my heart, Lord, to have your way in my heart completely. In Jesus' name. I give my ears only to your word, Lord. In Jesus' name. I will not listen to gossip or tale bearing. In Jesus' name. Forgive me if I have done so, Lord. I declare and I decree anything the devil stole from me to be returned sevenfold in Jesus Christ's name. I call back everything that belongs to me that the devil has stole. I rebuke every spirit of hinder, hindrance towards anything that's mine in Jesus' name. Or any person who's holding back a blessing from me, I command it to be brought to me in Jesus' name. Father, I will give my spare time to spend time with you and to study your word, Lord. Not for idle things, Lord, or things that are not relevant, Lord, but to give my time to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, or to help others, or to do things for the kingdom of God. Please lead me and guide me and my every step, Lord, let it be done in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for your grace in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for protection in Jesus' name. I thank you for the angels that you surround me with, Almighty God. In Jesus' name. I declare and decree in 2020, I will succeed in Jesus' name. I will not give up. In Jesus name father God I thank you Lord that you go before me that you are behind me that you are on the left of me that you are on the right of me in Jesus name father I declare and decree restoration right now in marriages 
and families. I bind every spirit of strife, of heaviness, of destruction out of families right now, marriages in Jesus' name. All fear and all worry, all depression, Lord, to leave your people in Jesus' name. Father God, I break every curse off my life in Jesus' name. Forgive me for speaking coarse words against anyone or myself, Lord, in Jesus' name. I am the apple of God's eye. God loves me. God is not mad at me, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for your love. Father God, I cancel any rebellious spirit off of my children, in Jesus' name. I declare and decree that my children will do great things for God. I call back any prodigal in Jesus' name. Father God, I command any agent of Satan to leave people in my family. Or if they're being with the wrong people, Lord, I command them to be released from the grips of the enemy in Jesus' name. I destroy every work of the devil off my family, business, ministry, in Jesus' name. May those who rise up against me be brought to confusion. Confusion in the camp of the enemy, in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, I thank you for great opportunities this year. I thank you, Father God, for the people you're bringing into my life, God, in Jesus' name. I thank you for the blessings, God. The surprises, the gifts, God, that you're going to give me this year in 2020, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, for this life, for this destiny, Lord, to serve you, Lord. Thank you for a life that you have given me, Lord, so that I can live for you. Forgive me, Lord, for being selfish in any area of my life, Lord. Help me, Lord, to live for you fully and to love others in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, I declare and decree any addictions of any sort of drugs, of pornography, of lust, idol worship, whatever it may be, Lord, of smoking or drinking or gambling to be broken off people right now in Jesus' name. Give them, Lord, the grace to walk away from anything that is not of you, Lord. In Jesus name Father God I give my eyes Lord to you that I will look at things only Lord that pleases you and things of God in Jesus name Father God I thank you for kingdom relationships friendships Lord bring new friends to people's lives Lord in Jesus name those who are holding on to past relationships Lord that are not from you give them the grace to let go and move forward, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for godly love relationships, Lord. Not lust, love relationships, Lord, in Jesus' name. Those, Lord, who are destined to be together, Lord, and to marry, Lord. Bring them together, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And may they be protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I just feel like saying right now, anybody who's living with somebody, cohabiting with somebody and you're sleeping together and you're not married, just think about that if you're saying that you're saved and you're a follower of Jesus Christ, okay? Father, I declare and decree I will do exploits in your name, Jesus Christ. Father God, we ask you, Lord God Almighty, for a fresh fire, fresh boldness, Lord, in Jesus' name, as we stand out into our destiny, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive us of any prideful ways in our hearts, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you for the desires of my heart to come to pass this 2020, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Almighty God. Father God, I ask you, Lord, to put your people right now in the right jobs, the right locations, if they're supposed to live in a certain place, or if they're supposed to be in the right position in their destiny, in their life, to be brought there, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father God, forgive us for being stubborn in any area. If we didn't get our own way, 
or things didn't go the way we planned it forgive us Lord for being stubborn in Jesus name Father God I declare and decree I bind every spirit of religious spirit in Jesus name of anyone those who think themselves more highly than they ought to and think they know it all Lord remove that from the hearts of people in Jesus name Father God you said in your word those who win souls are wise Father God I ask you Lord for the grace for your people Lord in Jesus name that they will not keep you to themselves Father Lord Jesus but that they will tell others about you and share their testimony even with strangers Lord so that more people come into the kingdom of God and be saved in Jesus name those who win souls are wise and in 2020 you don't even know what I'm telling you but last year like I said has been preparation has been amazing things happening in the background spiritually and you mightn't think it and I've said this in other videos but people who you won't expect will be saved and God is going to move mightily in Jesus name there's going to be so many coming into the kingdom of God and Father God I pray for those Lord we pray Lord for ministries for those in leadership Lord in Jesus name for their physical strength spiritual strength Lord strengthen them almighty God including myself in Jesus name I declare and decree that I will pray for those in leadership those in my church in Jesus name if you have slandered any man or woman of God apologize to God in Jesus name don't let that be your portion just 2020 picking at this one and picking at that one don't do that don't get involved in anything like that don't be on the wrong side of the battle okay because you don't know when you're deceived when you're getting involved in a little group or a little conversation and you're talking about someone you're dragging someone down because what happens brothers and sisters is when this sin when you do this if you sin against the Lord you're only going to destroy yourself okay so this is why spiritually you have to protect yourself and follow the Lord Jesus don't get involved in anything when the enemy comes along subtly whether it's gossip or whether it can be anything else or getting involved in anything come away from it because these things also hinder your blessings okay so come it could be people could be some friends you need to let go of some people you need to let go of something you're involved in maybe you need to come away from it because it's not right okay it's very important because this 2020 is important and amazing things are going to happen in your life it's not just this person's life but your life you need to understand that okay so let go of anything that's not of God and come away from it and sometimes that can be hard too but it's for your own sake okay in Jesus name Father God I thank you Lord God for new ideas new dreams new desires Lord and um, to do your will Lord in Jesus name new dreams new ideas of uh, business plans and um, our inventions Lord that are godly that are from you Lord in Jesus name I declare and decree I will be a kingdom financer in Jesus Christ's name sorry if you're hearing crackling in the background it's I have fire on okay um i am the head and not the tail i am blessed going in and blessed going out in jesus name father god i thank you lord that there's no more hindrance no more delay in my life in jesus name i declare and decree that and i walk in my destiny i will walk with a smile on my face and declaring the word of God in Jesus name I silence the voice of the devil right now in anyone's mind in Jesus name Father God I speak healing into bodies right now healing in hearts right now Lord from any trauma any pain any disease to leave your body in Jesus name say I am healed 
in Jesus' name. I am a child of the Most High God. Sickness, poverty, lack, struggle, worry is not my portion. In Jesus' name. Say those after me. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. So just let me give you some scriptures then and I leave you to your day. So in 2 Timothy 1.7 God has not given you a spirit of fear, but power, love, and of a sound mind. Now remember, when God chooses to just bless you out of nowhere and open doors of blessings, of favor, whatever it may be, you stay grounded and stay focused and patient, okay? And keep speaking the word. Don't forget, you are in a battle. You are a child of the Most High God. You are the light. You need to shine. You need to smile. And when anything comes up in life or from the enemy, like I said, stay grounded. Take out the word. Begin to pray. Fast. Read the word. Don't forget these things. Serve the Lord. It's important, okay? In John 14, 27, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, but that I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay. And in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. For those who love him. I'm telling you, this 2020 is going to be like no other. It is going to be amazing. But don't forget as well that we are vessels of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in us. You have power. You have authority. But don't forget... It's better to give than to receive, okay? We love receiving blessings. We love receiving all the amazing things God does for us. But you yourself go out and do things for God. Make a change in your life. Get up and say, this is a new year, okay? I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this. I'm going to help here. I'm going to give here. I'm going to give my time here. I'm going to begin to write something. I'm going to begin to start a business. I'm going to begin to join this course or whatever it is. And I pray in Jesus' name for the strength, for the grace that you get up and do these things. Okay. And as you go by faith, remember you can't do anything by yourself. So you're going, just step out. And you see, when you step out and do something, that's when God is like this with the doors. And he opens them. Okay. So not when we're sitting back or we're staying in a pit and saying, oh, well, this, well, this. Just no, no, no talk like that. No negative talk. Nothing like that. Okay. So you speak life. This is all new now. Okay. So it's up to you, brother and sister, to go forward. It's entirely up to you. Okay. And in Isaiah 43, 19, behold, I do a new thing shall it spring forth shall you not know it so this has already been done in the background but it's going to be like suddenly it's going to be like boom and you're going to be like oh how did this happen thank you jesus thank you lord so do you know what god loves he loves thanksgiving he loves when you're grateful you know there's a lot of people who don't say thank you you know you could go out of your way for somebody and do something really nice and don't do things. Yes, we love, we serve people, of course. Okay. But do everything to God. So when you don't get thanks, you don't get appreciated, you don't get anything like this from people, just smile and go, thank you, Lord, that you love me. Thank you, Lord. I'm doing all this for you. Okay. And Father God, in Jesus' name, just feel this now. Father God, I declare and decree promotions, Lord, for people, wherever they are, Lord, in Jesus' name. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
Isn't that amazing? So just look forward to this, okay? I've been excited even for the past couple of months because each month, like when the Lord does tell me something, you know, you just know it in your spirit, man, okay? It's not in the flesh because crazy things can happen, you know, in life. Of course it does. But it's in your spirit, man, when you hear the Lord and when you know, okay, I feel something good is going to happen. I know it's going to take place. The desires of your heart, it's going to happen, brothers and sisters, okay? Don't forget to pray. Don't forget at least an hour a day, half an hour. Speak in tongues. If you can't speak in tongues, sit down, get in the presence of God. Lord, I want this heavenly language and just begin to speak, okay? So when people say years later, I can't speak in tongues, you know, I've never been, you can just ask because God is a good God. He's a good father and he loves you so much, okay? He will give it to you. Share Jesus with others. That's very important for this year. Be a soul winner. That's what my man and woman of God does say to us. You know, go and win souls. Okay? Don't be lazy. Because how did you get saved? Because you heard of Jesus. Somebody said something to you. Okay? Love people. Choose life. Choose to speak good things. Choose to look at good things. Choose to listen to only life and blessings. Okay? And don't forget about anything. Forget about all the bad stuff. Forget about all the mistakes. Forget about all the grudges, all the, the people who hurt you. That's gone. Okay? It's all new. God is not mad at you. God loves you. So go forward. You are in the army of God. You are a child of God. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You can do this. You are not allowed to give up. Okay? And be an encourager to others also. Compliment someone. Be nice to people. Okay? I love that. You know, when people just get lifted. When someone says something nice. You know, and they're like, oh, thanks very much. Just be the light. Not moaning, not complaining. And just say, Lord, thank you. This 2020 is going to be amazing. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do this year. Thank you, Lord, that I'm here today. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Jesus, that you're coming again. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for the power and authority that you have given me. Thank you, Lord, that you protect me from my enemies. Keep me, Lord, on the right path. Don't let me be deceived, God. Don't let me turn to the left or turn to the right, Lord. Keep me focused on you, Lord, and where I'm supposed to go and be at the right location in this year. That I don't miss anything, God, that you have for me. In Jesus' name. Lord, I pray this over your people. In Jesus' name. I bless them in Jesus' name. Give them all the desires of their heart. Bless them wherever they go, God, in Jesus' name. Put that huge smile on their face, almighty God, because they are precious to you. Dear Jesus Christ, wonderful Jesus Christ, we love you so deeply. We give you thanks, God. We give you praise, God. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, who is amazing. And I love all of you, all you subscribers. I'm always praying for you and I love you. I thank you for all those who pray for me too. I know most of you by name and you guys are awesome. So I love you and I'll see you again soon. Have an amazing time.